Okay, so in the last session, we discussed about uh, reports, right? Uh, we discussed about sub report association, category, and shortcut. This is all done. In this, uh, basically, in this uh, session, we are going to talk about how do we produce produce summarized report or basically charts and uh, what type of charts we have things like that we are mostly going to have a demo session okay it's not that tough okay. so see you create a chart you only create chart if you have some sort of aggregations for example um, cases with status in one day right how many cases with status open how many cases with status approved things like that there's a, always an aggregation right so i'm going to start with a very simple one where i'm going to have uh, a report created let me with a test rep text r test rd which is going to give me date wise px create date time date wise case id Sorry, that is PYID. And the um, status of that. Very simple thing to ask every day which case got created and what is the status. Business often needs that kind of report. Let's run it. It's not day wise at the moment, it's going to list down all the cases with the status. Okay. Let's run it. Good. These are the cases. This is the work status. This is the date. Now I want it to be clubbed, grouped by basically in date. Then what we will do is we will summarize this and we will show the count for every date. Let's see. We're summarizing on the date. Let's run it. So, sorry, my bad. I put the wrong field. Summarizing count on the case. I will summarize based on the case ID. Okay. So, if you summarize something, right, it has to be sorted as well. Let me show you the result that will make more sense. So, see, park status. Which one did I choose? Okay, let me remove this. Okay, this is date and time. That's why actually it is always unique. So it's not summarizing. We need date. So this is how you add functions. The out of the box function, you can create the function as well. So date, how do I get date only? Convert text to date time. And date time, date mask. Day, month, date time, date time. Return either date time stamp or is all time stamp. Actually, Day, I think, should work. Day puts on now. This, let's see what's the output. Yeah, so this only has day, right? So I summarize the report basically or i count count of the cases see count of the case id how many cases we have that is going to be unique i counted that based on the case id the sort order means that the first of course the count is going to be sorted the second is the id but you do not necessarily need the count sort order okay 
but date wise we will sort it highest to lowest so this is the highest date and it is going lower okay this is fine now you see that right you can expand that on 24 25th 26 how many cases by the way the reports behavior is if you click on that it will give you the list of cases on that date automatically that's too good basically anyway now i want to add a status as well i want to have the count of the status unique status so i will have py work status count distinct count no i'm sorry actually no not this let me add the this is going to be same blank i need the case id for different different work okay work status so i'm going to have the count on this one work status this is the second level so for every date for every status i'm going to have the count good run this so see for every date for every status when you have two statuses how many records are there you can click on that to get the records by the way let's go back all right so this is this is how it works okay the summarization you can there are multiple things basically you can summarize based on the count distinct count max min you have the sort type things like that that is fine so for every date for every work status we are getting the count of cases so which means that okay on this given date 10 cases approved 10 cases pending 5 cases cancelled something like that now this is a good information that business might want to see on the chart bell on the second tab you have include chart remember if you remove the summarization the chart will not come because chart needs summarization data summary data see the chart option will only be visible when you are actually summarizing the result if you're not summarizing the result it will not be available count this is available now see include chart now you have multiple type of chart available here okay so these are the three options that we have selected there uh, days of this and all that now i want it basically drop aggregate column i want to aggregate it by based on the work status sorry one second case id work status oh let me remove this group by column is going to be date Sorry, one second. Here I want to have case ID. I want to have work status. Come on. Let me move a little up. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. See. For every status, basically, on every date, you're getting that chart. Okay, You can click. It will show you the details for that status and group. Okay, You can go back. Right? And this summarized data will still come down there. Okay?
So this is more in, uh, basically important for the business. They might want to take uh, save it as an image as well. See, right? Um, they can import the data if they want. They can import it. Sorry, after running it, so I can import this report as PDF. I can import it as an Excel. I can see the list. I can see the summarize value, right? And I can save as this report as well. That's fine. All right. You can actually change the chart. These are the chart action basically save it as image. You can change the chart type. Chart type. You not necessarily need to use the same, right? You can use this. So this only needs two things, right? Case ID and work the number of days actually is here let's see um, i mean every case has, every chart has a different feature this one is going to give you the day wise count of the cases okay you can include this cluster is tagged you can to use segments for that matter work status is uh, this running see how many new how many resolved every day on every day right this is new this is resolved so this is important feature okay you have the color setting you can use conditional color if this is the this then use this right so for example status work if it is new then use how do i i mean you, you need to define the color let's say this one See, new one is coming in this so you can control the color as well by the way you can remove it okay you can use general setting uh, basically enable user command do, 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 do you want the user to be able to import the image do you want the user to show the detailed data in embedded chart maximize the chart window let's just enable all of these let's see how does it look like So when you see that, maximize, this is going to take the full screen, right? You can take a screenshot of that. How do I get out of it? Maybe I'll have to close this, okay. That will be in a new window. All right, so this is another feature I wanted to show you guys. Um, how do we use charts it has to be summarized report only then you can use it you can see all the chart type that is available okay if it doesn't work out pega gives you an ability to insert your own uh, basically section to display the data uh, which you could use display filter using custom section display actual data hide summary Okay, one more setting. Disable drill down. You see, at the moment when we are running it, if you click on any date, you are getting the drill down report. That is the detail of the data. If you just uncheck check this one, that means the this uh, the deep drill down report will not be coming. Sometimes we want to restrict the users to run all those things. So even if you click, this is not going to give you the list for that count. So it has to be unchecked. Do you want the user to be able to change the filter? If you have any filter, we don't have at the moment. If you want to enable, disable that, disable that. Display report filters. Do you want the user to see the filters? So these are the other settings. I will let you guys explore those um, basically. So this is the 
some uh, this is another feature of reporting where you can generate the case which is very useful all right so this actually concludes everything that we wanted to discuss on reporting In the next session we will start with a new topic thank you